We're size. here with Nails for another story time with Nails. You found it. And uh, you do know that we have the uh, several people from the yearbook staff on on staff here as a cast of EBTV, and they they pulled up a few portraits of you there. I see that? Is that the side? I got the sideburns in that one. No, not in that one either. I ain't changed a whole lot. I'm, you know, I'm a little fatter, but. We also came down to the room to uh, pull him out of class for just a second to talk about his story here and saw his computer, which was loaded with icons. I don't know how many's on there. How often do you clean your computer off? Uh, how long have I worked there? Five years? Never. So the, the day it came, you just Look, keep adding things. Here's the problem with those MacBooks. If you ha if you don't look and see what you're saving it as, it'll save it on desktop. You never know. So it just shows up there, and I'm not going to go back and change it. But you, you can grab every icon and then just drag it into the documents folder, and it's in documents in a nice list and not just sitting out on the desktop exposed. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you with that later. All right, we're here for an actual story from your past, and you have a doozy about a date. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so you ever just had this? There's this one chick in college, and I I worked up the courage to ask her out. She was a little sorority girl, whatever, and um, I was finally like, hey, let's go get something to eat do a movie you know the whole thing first date kind of deal so went and picked her up we went eight it was pretty good so we go to this movie and i got it i'm like what you want i'm like trying to be a big baller like i just got my scar you know my, my money my financial aid check whatever like, what you want I'm like, popcorn candy load it up the girl's like you want to try i'm like no nah, i carry it by myself i got two tubs of popcorn <laughs> Two drinks, got some uh, Reese's Pieces in my back pocket because I like to put it in the popcorn and it's really good, salty, sweet, you know. Was this the Malco in South Haven? No, this was in Missouri. This is in Cape Girardeau. It's the theaters like in the mall. So I get there. I don't even know what we're seeing. It might have been like 300 or something like that. They're like this is how long ago it was. I hadn't even met my wife yet, so she can't be mad on this story. Um, <laughs> so we get in there. And we get there early, like the lights are still, what is it, like the house lights they leave on? So we're going up and the theater's packed, like it might have been the opening weekend of this movie. So I'm like, oh, you go ahead, you know, like I'll let you go first. Going up, she gets about four steps in front of me, I'm going, I'm like looking for a seat. She's like, what about here? I'm like, no, I got like, when I go to the theater, I got to be in the middle. Boom, you can see. And like, I think the best sound is like middle section, not all the way to the top like middle section because you get it from everywhere right y'all you know what i'm talking about <laughs> so i'm going i'm going i'm going and dude i don't know if i missed a step i remind you i'm walking upstairs up steps oh if i miss a step if my boots slipped or what but all of a sudden i fall backwards and i throw popcorn coke cross my reaches pieces and when I go, I don't just go backwards. I go like backwards at an angle. So these people sitting right here, covered in popcorn, covered in Coke. And I'm like embarrassed. I'm like, oh my God, I don't get embarrassed that easy. Like I stand up, pop up, I'm like, come on, let's go. So we go downstairs and she's like, well, are we gonna get more popcorn? I'm like, no, we're leaving. <laughs> like we're leaving. She's like, I really wanna see this movie. I'm like, I don't care. I just fell in front of all these people. I'm like, we're, we've been on a date for like an hour and a half and we're sitting here arguing. I'm like, no, I'm not staying here. So I left her, went home. She called one of her shorty friends and come and got her. I never talked to her again. Like we had class the rest of the semester and every time I walk in class, she'd be like mean mugging me and I see her on campus, she'd be like. So about three weeks later, I'm in the, um, the union which is kind of where all the food and stuff is and this person comes up and they're like hey didn't you fall at the movie theater last week no nope, that was Jim Clocky <laughs> so I blamed it on somebody else but <laughs> when you said you left her at the theater Chloe's eyes got really big behind oh, the yeah, camera I left her I left her like I didn't 
at that point there was no saving it and like 20 minutes into it she realized like i was just a little mississippi redneck she was from big city st louis her dad was a, a vip at some bank and i mean when i pulled up in a in a truck with a three inch lift and I pulled into her. She was local, well, not local, but her dad had a house there and whatever. And her apparently I had to meet her dad before I took her out. So um, they probably still talk about you at holidays. They probably do. Which the one I text you about cleaning the gun. That's the same. It was all in the same day. <laughs> yeah. So I'll give that one too, since we're here doing it. So when I go pick her up. Like I said, her dad's like a VIP dude, or what's that called? CEO, VIP, whatever it is. Big money wig guy. So I pull up, and you can hear my truck at the time when I pull in. I'm sure you can. So I go walk in, and he's sitting here. He's trying to uh, break down. He's got a, a Springfield. He's trying to break it down so he can clean it. And I'm like, hey, what you doing, man? I'll clean my gun. I'm like, hold on one second. So I run out to the truck and bring in my handgun and a rifle. I'm like, hey, let me help you out. So I break it down for him, break mine down, start cleaning it, cleaning them. He's like sitting there like this, like, I got, dude, I got like 50 of these at home. Like, it's no big deal. He, like, you could tell he had never been shot. He just did it because I was coming over. It was about that time that that song, who sings that song? Craig Morgan, maybe, like, just cleaning my guns, the country song. <laughs> about the same time it came out. So from the start, like this dude's like, come on man, like just big Mississippi redneck guy. But yeah, I left her um, sitting in the theater somewhere. She had to call somebody to come get her. See, Brittany probably, Brittany actually probably likes this story. You took a girl to the movie theater. You, you know, fell on your backside. You left her at the theater. I don't. You were humiliated. I don't know if I've ever told Brittany that story or not. Well, she knows it now. No, because she. What day are you showing this? I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure she misses work next week. Like, hey, you need to stay home with the kids. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't my best. So, like, no other girl from that sorority would, like, have anything to do with me after that. <laughs> like, I got blackballed from that whole sorority. <laughs> like, we'd be out, like, baseball guys would be out, and, like, it sucked because none of them girls would talk to the baseball guys anymore. Baseball guys hated me for a little bit. It was pretty bad.